Hey guys, it's CardShuffler99 here today. First of all, comment down below what you think of our new logo. All right, with the little C and the S. If you didn't notice, it actually makes up the spade. So it's like a C and the S. That's what it's supposed to be. We might change the color, so comment what you think of the color. Anyways, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button, all those notification buttons, whatever. All those good buttons. Don't forget to check out our Instagram, CardShuffler underscore 99. Links for these decks, in case you want to buy them. Bicycle decks, pretty popular will be in the description and yeah let's get right to this original trick indeed uh so Rob, what i'm going to have you do is take the deck here and i'm going to have you just go through take any random card from the middle of the deck bring it to the top you're going to flip it over and then you're going to cut the deck in half okay that's all you're going to do now in case you guys think we need to know the top card being the ace no we don't i'll just put it back in okay let's so go ahead robert so, any random card behind my back. Indeed. Flip it over. And bring it, wait, bring it to the top and then cut flip, it into the middle. Right. Okay. So, bring it to the top, flip it over, and then cut it in the middle. All right. And then bring the deck back. Okay. Perfect. Good job. Thank you. So, what I'm going to ask you to do now is just go ahead, cut the deck up or whatever you want to do. Oh, okay. A little Hindu shuffle. Oh, well, I'll cut. Now, you see, Jokers, they don't really get the attention they need. So today, we're going to actually use it to have you select a card. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fan through the deck just like this. And I'm going to try to get an angle here to where you guys can actually see what's happening. I'm going to go through, and you can just say stop at any point. Stop. Right there. You sure? Yeah. All right. I'll put it in, and let's see the card that you actually stopped to set. No slights. You can see the five of diamonds. Yep. All right. You see that? That's the card that you actually stop to set. And we'll go through here, and we'll actually take the Joker. We don't need the Joker anymore. Throw that away. Okay. And Robert, yeah. this is what I'm going to ask you to do. I'm going to spread through where we actually need your card again. So why don't you go ahead and just find it really quick. Just take it out for me. Take it out for me. Five of diamonds, where are you? Huh? Wait, let me look through this a little more. Feel free. Five hearts. Where's the five diamonds? I don't, I, I don't know. Now you it. remember, from the beginning of the trick, I actually asked you to <laughs> take a random card out of the deck, flip it over, and then put it back and cut it into the deck. Now yeah. you'd be surprised the power that teleportation has. See, right there, the one card that you flipped over, your card, that you selected from the red deck, the five of diamonds. Now a lot of people are just like, hey, it's it's just the five of diamonds from the blue deck. That's exactly where you're wrong, because this is the exact same five of diamonds that you selected from the beginning of the trick. Anyway, guys, that is the trick, and let's get straight into... All right, so let's get straight into the tutorial here. What you're going to need for this, two decks, uh, some double-sided tape, an X-Acto knife. Be careful, we are not responsible for you guys at home, so don't cut off your hand or slit your wrist. So what you're going to do is you're going to need two five of diamonds, one from a blue deck, or you want to use two separate colored decks for this, just saying. Um, so you're going to take one from the opposite colored deck, and you're going to need a joker that matches, all right, so let's say you have a joker that matches the red deck, okay? What I did here was I created a gimmick, and this five of diamonds is from the blue deck, okay? So all I did here was I took a joker, um, I don't think there's a joker around. So let's say this is a joker. I took the joker. I took the five of diamonds from the blue deck. So if this was a blue card, I'm putting it on the red card. I'm sticking it there. Just like that with double-sided tape. So I put double-sided tape. I stick it. Okay. And then all I do is I flip it over and I trim off the face down part. Okay. And from there, you're going to be left with this gimmick. Okay. So you have a five of diamonds and the joker. Okay. And it's just stuck with double-sided tape. And... Once you have that, you're ready to go. So once again, I have the red joker, red deck, blue five of diamonds. Now, guys, just, make red... it, just letting you guys know, do not use a uh, deck with like a different pip. Like you guys notice how these pip, uh, pips are a little different than the normal bicycle deck. So make sure they're the same pips. I mean, they don't have to be the same pips. And in some ways, uh, having a different pip actually might be better because they're going to go through and they're going to see it's a different card. I'm talking about that part. Yeah, yeah, for this part. Yeah, my bad. Sorry about that. So, once again, I have the red joker, red deck, blue five of diamonds, okay? And the red five of diamonds is going to go with the blue deck. So, how do I set up the blue deck? All I'm going to do here 
is I'm going to take this red card, okay, the red five of dimes, I'm going to flip it face up, and I'm going to put it in like the fifth, fourth, third, whatever position from the bottom face up. So I have four cards here, then I have my five, and remember this is the red five, and that's just going to stay there. Now what this allows is if you go through the deck, they bring something to the top, they flip it over, and they cut the deck, the first card face up that they're going to see is going to be the five. Now, of course, if you keep going, you're going to see the card that they actually selected, which is why you have some more cards here to buffer it. So what you could do, you can have as many cards as you technically want. You can use like a whole stack of cards here if you really wanted to. But then again, you don't want them to spread below it. You know, if they were to pick that, then you're kind of screwed. So right, guys, guys, just make sure when you're describing the directions, you have to mention that you have to bring the card to the top. And then flip it over. Because if you don't, watch what happens. I already have a card flipped up here. Pretend that's the five of diamonds, right? If they go through and just flip over on a card and just put it in, it doesn't work. So you right. have to make sure they bring it to the top, then flip it over, and then cut it into the deck. Right. So you make sure you give them the instructions. You can even show them. And then that part of the trick is set up. Now, what's cool is it makes it seem like you're taking the red five and teleporting it into this deck, which is basically the effect. So once again, you have it, fourth, third, whatever position, face up, have them go through, take a card, bring it to the top, flip it face up, cut the deck, and then later when you go through, you can show this, make sure you don't spread beyond the face down cards, but I have a good buffer there, so you're good to go right there, right? So basically what do you, once they do that, you just set it to the side, okay? Once they bring the deck back, you set it to the side, okay? And now you're going to do this Joker part. What I do is I start with the Joker on the table. Basically, all I'm doing is I'm fanning it out. Now, it doesn't work well with this camera angle. Which you, what you would technically do if they're right here, um, I would hold this to them like this, right? And I would basically go through the deck uh, with the Joker. Now, all I'm doing, okay? Now, clearly the camera angle doesn't work well. All I'm doing here is I'm taking this Joker... Now, this is how I would see it. This is what I would see if they were right there because I would hold it up to them. I'm just going through. When they say stop, I'm just slipping it in. Okay? Now, don't be rigid when you're putting it in because the, the tighter you put it in, then all the cards are going to fluctuate. So, all you have to do is you fan it out, right? You're going to put it in at some random point whenever they say stop. Situate it nicely and say, check it out. You stopped us at the five. And that looks beautiful. That looks perfect. All I do here is I close up the fan, okay? I spread through and I take the joker out. Now, they just believe this is just one joker. Now, you can't flip it over, of course, but from there, you throw the joker away. Just make it disappear. And just like that, that's a great way. Now, you can use that joker method for so many tricks. You can actually just make not only the joker disappear, you just made the card that they selected disappear. Yeah, you have to take the five diamonds out of that deck if you already you know, right, well, the five, the red five diamonds yeah. is in there. Yeah. So it would already be taken out. So from there, you can go through. They're not going to see their card, right? It's gone. Now, of course, you can use that Joker method for so many teleportation effects. It's great. And just like that, you say, remember from the beginning of the trick, you went through. You go through and you say, check it out, it's the five diamonds. But it's not just any five of diamonds. It's the five of diamonds from the red deck that you originally selected. Of course, you can't show that. But uh, it's a great trick, great trick to perform on the streets. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Thank you guys so much for watching. And this is Card Shuffler 99. Peace out.